Hello YouTube, I'm back again, because apparently the last time I tried to do um, this tutorial, something screwed up in the AES too. So I have to try and redo it. So, um, open up a new Flash AES2 document, and go to the 10th fret. Oh, and I already have two layers set up, AES2 and the graphics and design stuff. So I'll go to the 10th, and right click and convert to keyframes. Now go back to the first and convert them to keyframe or uh, go to the second and convert it to a keyframe I mean. Okay, so you have these two converted. They're separate from the rest. They're lonely. So on the last one on the tenth on the AES2 larger Okay, I keep forgetting I have my recorder up every time I hit F9 instead of bringing up the actions it pauses the video. So I had to right click and hit actions. So on that one we're going to put in go to and play uh, one. Okay. Now on the first one sorry to pause it again. Um we're gonna put if frame loaded connect. Oh hello Spencer. If frame load connect, go to and play connect. And I just now realized what I did wrong on the last tutorial. I forgot to put the stop command, so I'm redoing it all for nothing. But I deleted it, so I might as well do it again. So I go to and play connect. So insert uh, convert. I guess frame frame 30. If you want to, just give yourself some room. Convert to that to a keyframe. I keep stuttering. Convert 11 to a keyframe, and now you have the connection thing. So go ahead and name it connection on the label name. And now we're gonna make the action script too. I paused it again. I'm stupid. So open the actions up, and we're going to type in import it dot go to and play dot smart fox server dot asterisk okay so that loads up all of the action script and the API that you'll need for the um the variables and everything to actually work so we're going to put smart fox equals new smart fox client Making sure everything is capitalized correctly is very important, or stuff will not work. Um, smartfox dot debug equals true. Um, no IP equals port equals and zone. You don't have to put zone since in this tutorial we're just showing you how to make a connection and a preloader. But just for now, we're gonna leave it like that. So smartfox.connect equal or no smartfox.connect IP port. And I'm used to doing it like this, so I'm gonna space down one and put the code above it. Smartfox.onConnect connection equals handle connection. So I spelled it wrong. So when it connects, it's going to be sent over to the handle connection function, which will tell you if you connected or you failed. So function, we're going to make the function for handle connection, handle connection, uh, connection, I keep accidentally uh, misspelling and capitalizing wrong, function handle connection, success. If it's success if it's uh if it succeeds um it will make the status text dynamic text box dot text equal connected congratulations and else um oops daisy if it doesn't actually connect so basically if it's not success it would be a failure and the else what else would happen would be that it didn't connect, so therefore you failed, and it's not success. So, failure. 
Your life is a fail. Oh, wow. I think that just made me a failure. Failure? Your life is a failure. Or, you know, you can just put not connected. Okay, so this is about all you need to actually make a simple connect. So I'm gonna. Hold on. There's a couple of things I left out. Um, you're gonna have to make the dynamic text box. I'll just make it really obvious right there and call it status text. That's what we called in the action script, and we're going to have to target our API. So over on action script settings, you can uh, unflash it. I think it's under publish settings, and then flash action action script 2.0 settings. I already have it selected. I'll minus it. You hit the plus in folder. Go into your computer, local disk. Um, you'd be under programs or x86. Mine is in the x86, so I'll go through there. Smartfox Server Pro 1.66, uh, Flash API, and the Action Script 2. You select that. Hit OK, and I'll enter my IP and port and zone. And before I screw up again, I'll hit stop here. So let me pause it real quick. Okay, I entered my IP and port, and let's see if this works. Okay, obviously... Oh, wait a second, there's been a problem. There's no dynamic text box. Therefore, we are probably on the other preloader that I didn't configure right, apparently. So, give me a second. Okay, I found the problem. It was really simple. This was supposed to be called connect, not connection. Okay, let's see if it works. And there you go. You're connected, and it even tells you down by the bottom that you connected. So, that's all you need to know to do that. And uh, in this tutorial, I might as well finish up the action script. Um, let me pause it and remove my IP. Alright, um, I removed it. I know some of you might have already seen my port, but the IP wasn't there. So, um, we're going to make a new function called on or uh, send login. So, function send login. Hello. Send login. And now this is going to send the input information that you put into the dynamic text box called user text. So send login um smart box dot login uh, user text dot text and zone. So I'm gonna send login it attempts to sign you into the server with the username that you provided and to the user text dot text dynamic field and to the zone that has been entered up here. So send login, that's all you need for there. And then uh there's a smart fox dot um on login equals function res object and the object. Okay. So now um give me a second to think about this. Give me a second. Okay. Global no. Global dot my name equals wait no. There's another thing from it. If um res object dot connect or no, resobject.success. Okay, that's the correct code. If resobject.success, um, global.myName equals resobject.name. Okay, that's all the code you actually need, but you can add an else, and it will be. Basically, if it wasn't a success, it will give you a little error window, but instead of doing an error window, I'll do an error status text. So, uh, I gotta pee really bad. So, status text dot text equals error occurred. So, let me pause this real quick. Okay, I'm good. Uh, let's go ahead and add the action script for the button that will send the login. So, 
we're gonna call the button send log button. So when you release it, it will send login. And then send login and return will send the username, text, and zone that you provided above. And let me pause this into the IP import. Wait, no, never mind. Let me add the stuff here. I'll put this into the graphics layer because we made it for a reason. Let me lock the action script. Uh, let me add just a really simple, ugly button. I'll go ahead and right play on it. No, oh, there's my brush. P L A Y. Smile. Okay. We've got our play button with the really awkward looking smile. And, uh, I'm gonna name it. Okay, so that doesn't really matter. What matters is that we name this correctly. Send log button. Okay, so now we're going to make the input tip sh or input username field now. And make a dynamic or input text box here. Yeah. Okay. And now I want the max characters that somebody can make their name. Fifteen. So they can only put fifteen letters and numbers for the username. I'll call it user text. I think that's what I called it in here. I'll check real quick. Um, mm hmm Okay. So, send log button. And, send log button. And, let me enter my IP, IP import. Pause it real quick. Alright, here's the moment of truth. Okay, connected. And, uh, it's not gonna send you to a new window, but it will come up with stuff down here. It will say that you attempted to log in with some certain... I forgot to change it to black text, but it's fine. And there we go. Body action login. Login with stuff 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 into simple chat. So therefore, it's actually working, and the next tutorial I'll be making pretty soon once I actually learn the full thing to type it out. Um, it'll be how to make the chat window itself. So, subscribe for more stuff, and thanks for watching.